mad conspiracy theory about Israel and Jews sounds just like the old days, I think, when we're discussing these things in the Labour Party. And yet, this is Sir Keir Starmer's Labour Party. Remember, he came in to replace Jeremy Corbyn as the Labour leader, and he set as his goal rooting out the curse of anti-Semitism once and for all from the party. So, of course, when a recording emerged that had Mr Ali alleged to have been telling a meeting of the Lancashire Labour Party that the Egyptians are saying that they warned Israel 10 days earlier, the Americans warned them a day before, there's something happening he said uh, they deliberately took the security off they allowed that massacre that gives them the green light to do whatever they bloody want uh, those words of course came back to haunt him um, as he's standing in that by-election for the Labour Party but when they were revealed at first in the uh, papers over the weekend the Labour Party stood behind him so Keir Starmer seemed to be putting his principles aside because it would be too late to choose another candidate for that election which is in just two weeks time uh, however the pressure's been piled on the party and while the front bench had been sent out uh, over the last 24 hours to stand by him and to say that his apology that he then made uh, meant that it was okay for him to stand as the candidate uh, in that apology he said the greatest loss of Jewish life in a single day since the Holocaust and, and, and that it would be utterly apologizing to Jewish leaders for his inexcusable comments uh, however this evening, something seems to have happened. We're not quite sure what. The Labour Party has just recently announced that it will be withdrawing its support for him. Not clear if that means he's being withdrawn from the election. Uh, they haven't been specific about that. And it's not clear what new information came out, but they say that some new information has emerged, obviously since uh, the apology, and they're standing by him. Perhaps another newspaper is planning something for tomorrow, so maybe we'll keep our eyes peeled to see what it is that might have provided this change of mind, this U-turn, but it's not been an easy uh, 24 hours or a couple of days for the Labour Party with this controversy looking, as I said, just like the old days of Jeremy Corbyn. Certainly, we'll have to wait to see what this new information might be. Just 20 seconds left. How is this all being received within the British public right now, given the range of views over the war, briefly? Well, that particular by-election is going to be a tricky one because one of the other candidates who stands to gain, if Mr Ali isn't there, is George Galloway, a name familiar with many perhaps watching this channel because he is virulently anti-Israel and therefore right. there was some temptation not to let him take the seat instead.